Hello! This is my new Easy 8 trigger module. The actual finish, finished product will not look anything like this. It will be uh, in a rectangular format. Rectangular format. Like for Eurorack. There will be a kit available and I will, me and my guy who's doing the hardware will be building them as well. So anyway, let me show you what it can do. First. Right now, it's accepting an external trigger. It also has, it has play mode, it has freestyle mode, and it has configure mode. I set up the firmware to light these LEDs dimly when it's in configure mode. So you have, so you have an idea, so you have visual feedback telling you, hey, your module's in configure mode, you can't play anything with it. Every button press you make will be changing configurations. So it can accept an external trigger. It can accept, it can, it can clock itself, which is the same BPM right now. That's why there's light. But if we do this, let's move the hand. Um, when it's in tap, when it's, I'm going to turn down the amplifier, when it's in tap tempo mode, you can adjust the BPM one millisecond per quarter note at a time using these two buttons. You can nudge it forward and you can nudge it backwards to get it more in sync. You can also tap in the middle to reset the zero point of the quarter note. Um, I don't recommend doing that though because it doesn't know whether it needs to skip forward in the sequence or skip one uh, or, or play one sequence uh, step again because it has no idea whether you're trying to catch up or, or slow down. Okay, so anyway, that's that feature. Now I'm, I'm externally clocking it again. Oh, and so these light up dimly because I'm using an input pull-up mode to light the LEDs dimly without triggering actual trigger events. However, as you can hear, it's still triggering trigger events. Um, I'll show you the normal play mode right now. It is working by default at 64 triggers, uh, 64 steps long. Um, it's configurable to be 16 steps long, uh, 48 steps long, 30, 32, 48, 64, etc., up to 256. A 256 step uh, sequence uh, is very long. Um, Kind of lose track of where you are maybe unless you're you know being real careful so anyway let's actually play it i have it set up right now as a default to trigger every step that's configurable Okay, so it's pretty responsive to the triggers. I did miss a couple triggers. Um, let me show you my favorite mode, freestyle mode. When it's in freestyle mode, the, oh, uh, this in play mode, you can hold down shift and touch a track and it goes mute. Do it again, it plays. Mute it, play a new track, and it deletes. Ooh, I missed the trigger.
All right. In freestyle mode, in freestyle mode, this is my favorite. When you press the shift button, all the triggers stop playing. You can hold down. I'll show what that sounds like. So anyway, that's that freestyle mode. Another freestyle mode is, uh, okay, you can, so the, by default, the freestyle mode does the every trigger. You can change that to be a uh, one shot and you can do this, which is unquantized. Now, if you have, there's no convenient way to stop or mute everything all at once. I'm really not sure how to do that with this hardware in a way that's easy to access and really reliable. All right, so anyway, um, the unquantized mode means that if you have no, um, if you have no external trigger, if you have no desire for an external trigger, you can still use this as a trigger generator. So you can just play your freestyle beats. And I'm not good at finger drumming, but if I was, oops. So yeah, that's the freestyle trigger, uh, freestyle unquantized mode. Um, two more features that I didn't talk about. Oh, it has swing. Even using hardware, Even using an external trigger, let's see if my tab patterns are still there. Even with a hardware trigger, even with an external trigger coming from some other clock, you can still make the pattern swing. Let me demonstrate that for you. Oh. Oops. Okay, turns out maybe in my last firmware writing session, I broke the swing. Let's try it again. I did. <laughs> I broke the swing. Oh, no. Okay, well... Okay, so anyway, I broke the swing. Um, I'll start working on that right away. <laughs> Get that working again. Dang it! All right. Um, yeah, if it's self uh, self clocked, it swings just fine. That's a lot easier to do because um, when it's clocked by itself, you can look for a, a negative or, or a positive. You can slew the pattern uh, negative or positive. Um, with hardware, you can only slew positive because you can't anticipate an incoming trigger. At least. Not unless you're a lot smarter than me and a lot faster than an Arduino. So anyway, yes, keep your eyes out. Uh, keep your uh, see the uh, project um, files in the link. Uh, the software and the hardware are going to be open source. So you, once the uh, hardware is finished, you can um, find uh, 
you know, find the schematics and the Gerbers, whatever that is. I don't know what that is. And make your own PCBs. I don't know what PCBs are either. <laughs> All right.